Hi, in this lesson we're going to take a look at how to do calculations which involve resistors connected in series. Let's start by making sure we understand what we mean by series. Look at the part of a circuit in the diagram. There are four resistors. Here's a question for you. Are the top three resistors in series with each other? You may want to pause the video to have a think about it. The answer is no, they are not in series. Let's make sure we understand why they're not in series. The top three resistors are connected in a, in a line, in a chain, one after the other. But the fourth resistor provides a way for current to flow around the middle resistor. So some of the current will go through the middle resistor, some will be diverted through the bottom resistor. To be in series, resistors have to be in a line so that the same current goes through all three resistors. You can't have junctions in the middle of the chain. So the answer is definitely they're not in series. Here's another one to try. Another circuit, same question. Are the three resistors in the top row in series with each other? And I hope you can say straight away that the answer is no. The extra resistor going down means that some current will flow downwards and some will flow through the right hand resistor. So the top three resistors don't have the same current going through them. The first two resistors are in series but the row of three resistors at the top is not in series, are not in series with each other because of the junction. One last one. Here's a circuit with four resistors. Are the four resistors in series? The answer is yes. And the reason being that the same current goes through each resistor and they're in a, in a chain. So, first resistor, same current in and out. Second resistor, same current in and out. Third resistor, in and out. Fourth resistor, same current in and out. They are in series. Now, Let's do a little calculation to get us going. Suppose we have a 10 volt supply, could be a battery, could be a, a power pack, it doesn't matter. 10 volts, we're not worried about the plus and minus, the polarity. So 10 volts is applied to a 5 ohm resistor. And the question is, can you work out the current that flows through the resistor? You can pause the video just to work that out in your own head. And I looked that the current is 2 amps. I is V over R, a formula you should know, or at least be aware of. Essential formula to do this sort of problem. The current through something is the voltage across it divided by its resistance. In this case, the voltage across the resistor is 10 volts. We divide that by the resistance 5 ohms. So the answer is 2 amps. Pretty easy. Same circuit on top, 10 volts, 5 ohms, giving 2 amps. But in the lower circuit, what I've drawn is the same 10 volt supply, but this time, instead of one resistor, I have three resistors in series. Don't know what the values are, but the three resistors are in series. And what we find, for example, is that in some cases, for certain resistors, we have the same current, 2 amps, that we had when we used a single 5 ohm resistor. So we can get situations where three resistors connected in series give the same current as having a single resistor, in this case of 5 ohms. We would say in this case that the effect of these resistors, the combined effect, is the same as that of the 5 ohm resistor. And actually what we say is that the total resistance of the three resistors in series is 5 ohms. The total resistance of the three resistors in series is 5 ohms. Because you could swap the three resistors with the 5 ohm resistor and you would still get 2 amps, still get the same current, assuming we're using the same voltages. We could go the other way around. We could say, OK, let's take a, a voltage. Sorry, there's a bar on the right here that shouldn't be there. 
just ignore that. Let's suppose we take a voltage V and apply it to three resistors in series. Let's call them R1, R2 and R3. There will be some current flowing around that circuit. Whatever the current is, it's the same in each resistor. Is there a way to work out what the single resistor should be that could replace the top three? such that we get the same current. So for example if that was 10 volts and that was 2 amps, is there a way to work out what resistance to use so that if we remove the three resistors and put a single resistor in there we still get for the 10 volts we still get 2 amps flowing. In other words what's the total resistance of the three resistors in series? Um, the answer is very, very simple. The total resistance is simply the sum R1 plus R2 plus R3. If we replaced the three resistors with a single resistor which had a resistance equal to the sum of the resistors, it would have the same effect. It would produce the same current given the same voltages. It doesn't have to be three resistors. It will work for any number. For any resistors in series, the total resistance is R1 plus R2 all the way up to the last one. That's a very important formula for combining resistors in series. Let's do an example. Let's suppose we have a 20 volt supply and we have three resistors in series, 10 ohms, 20 ohms, 40 ohms. We call the resistors R1, R2, R3. If you'd like to pause the video, can you work out what the current through each of the resistors is? The current I. How big is it? Pause the video and have a good think about that. You may need the calculator. And the answer is this. These three resistors could be replaced by a single resistance, RT. The total resistance, RT, is 10 plus 20 plus 40, 70 ohms. So we could remove the three resistors in series and put a single 70 ohm resistor there and it have the same effect. So the current that we were trying to find is the voltage over the resistance, I is V over R. So it's 20 volts divided by the total resistance. 20 over 70 is 0.286 of an amp. So 0.286 amps travels through each of the resistors. Can we prove this formula, the one that's written on the bottom on this screen, that the total resistance RT is the sum R1 plus R2 plus R3? It's not too difficult. Look at the top diagram. We have the three resistors in series. We have the current I. It will be the same in each resistor. And we've marked the voltage across each resistor. V1, V2 and V3 are the separate voltages. So if you wanted to measure the voltage or potential difference across the first resistor, you'd connect the two leads of the voltmeter to either side of resistor 1 and that would give you voltage 1, V1. The total difference between the ends, the left side and the right side, we've marked simply as V, the total voltage, V. And you'll know from Kirchhoff's law that that total voltage is simply the sum V1 plus V2 plus V3. And we've written that down underneath. V is V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now we could replace these three resistors in series with a single resistance whose value is RT. And if we apply voltage V to RT we'd get the same current I that we did in the top circuit with the three separate ones. That means we can work out a value a formula for the voltage across resistor T. V equals IR. Let's look down here, middle line now. Voltage across a component is the current through it times its resistance. So the voltage across RT is the current through it, which is I, 
times its resistance. So I can replace V in the top equation by I times RT. What about V1? I can do the same sort of thing. V1 equals the current through component 1 times its resistance. V equals IR. So I can replace V1 by I times R1. And I can replace V2 by I times R2. The voltage across V3 is the current through it times R3. So I replace V3 by IR3. And if you look at that middle equation, the I's cancel and it leaves the bottom equation, which proves that the total resistance is simply the sum of the individual ones. Let's do a practice calculation to see if we can work this out, actually use it. Here's 20 volt supply connected to two resistors in series, a 3 ohm one and an unknown resistance. The question is, if the current is 5 amps, how big is the unknown resistance? And you might want to pause the video and try this one for yourself. Well, one way of doing it is this. The two resistors in series can be replaced by a single resistor, RT, the total resistance. We know 20 volts is being applied. We know the current is 5 amps. So we can say, well, the resistance RT is voltage over current. That's another key formula. That's the definition of resistance, actually. Resistance is the voltage across something divided by the current through it. So RT is 20 volts divided by 5 amps. RT, the total resistance, is 4 ohms. But we know resistors in series, they just add up to give you the total. So 3 plus whatever R2 is, must come to 4 ohms. 3 plus R2 is 4. R2 is 1 ohm. OK, I hope that made sense. You can watch it again if you need to. Now, don't forget to find out how to deal with resistors in parallel, which is a little bit more complicated, but not too difficult.